Hello everyone, thank you for coming by at Newsom. Um, uh, recently, Samsung Galaxy is a lot in the news. They're coming out with a new product selection of smartphones. Um, at a San Francisco event on Tuesday, filled with colorful spotlights and soaring rhetoric, Samsung, the world's largest smartphone maker, presented its ideas. Three models of its mainstream Galaxy X phones, dubbed the S20, a generous numeric upgrade from last year's Galaxy X10 moniker, and a new foldable screen device. Last year's Galaxy Fold, the first mainstream foldable screen offering, opened and shut like a book. Samsung is raising prices for the Galaxy S20 models compared with last year's offering. The base Galaxy X20 will cost $1,000, followed by the S20 Plus at $1,200 and at top of the line S20 Ultra at $1,400. Global smartphone sales also slid 1% last year. According to Counterpoint Research, uh, Counterpoint Research, the second straight year of decline after nearly a decade of robust growth. Tilted the dawn of a new decade of Galaxy, Mr. Rowe's piece outlined little about his new lineup of phones. As the smartphone market has matured, Samsung has little choice but to push hardware advances like 5G or cameras that have 100 times zoom capability, said Wayne Lamb, a principal analyst at IHS Market, a market researcher. Samsung's new foldable phone in particular could accelerate the company's smartphone earnings if consumers adopt a device that costs well above $1,000, said Susquehanna analysis Mehdi Hosseini. The Galaxy S20 handsets will come in three variants, the S20, S20 Plus, and S20 Ultra and have at least 128GB of storage memory. The Galaxy S20 handsets will have anywhere from 128 to 512GB of internal storage memory. Thank you.